You want to come out of this quarantine without any beanie brows. We don't want it joining, okay? We don't want to be smelling. We want to be looking good to make it look like we just came from holiday. All right. Hello and welcome to Touch by Gloria, which is moi. How are you all doing? And how are you coping with this pandemic and the quarantine that we all facing? Welcome to my channel, to my subscribers. Welcome back and thank you for joining. And those that are new, join the Touch by Gloria family by clicking the subscribe button. And each time I upload something, you will get a notification if you're to click on the bell as well. So in today's video, I am going to give you 13 health and beauty tips on how to survive quarantine. Okay, so I'm gonna share my tips with you and together we are all going to survive quarantine in good beauty and health. All right, okay, so if you're interested in watching, Keep watching. So, tip number one. Stock up on hair removals, okay? Now, you've got your hair removal cream, which comes like that, which is good for, this one says, it's sensitive one, so it's for all hair types. And this is good for your body, so your armpits, your legs, if you're someone that, you know, wants to get rid of hairs on your arms, you can do that. And this is also good for your eyebrows. Yes, your eyebrows. What you can do, get a cotton bud, squeeze some of this on there, apply it to your, to your brow bone where you want to remove your eyebrow hair. So where you have that excess, just apply it right there and do not leave it on for long and just wipe it away and what that does is it gives you that nice and neat eyebrow shape you know but if you feel you're not confident in that I advise to not do it or if you want to do it I'll say less than 30 seconds you have to take it off don't leave it on for long but it leaves your brows looking nice and neat spotless You've got another option, which are these razor blades. So, some stores are still open. Get your hands on these things whilst you can, okay? But this razor blade, you also have the option for your shaving as well, to remove all your hairs, your armpits, your legs, and all those other parts. This is a tweezer. Ooh. It dropped. And these are not your, the big ones where you use to apply your false lashes. So these are much smaller. And what this does, it's very small, so very good in, in um, plucking out your eyebrow hairs straight to the point. So you put it where, so wherever you want to pluck out your hairs. I'll give you an example. You go close to where your eyebrow hairs are growing. So for instance, this one here, and then you pull, okay? You just pull. And that would do the trick. Tip number two. Stock up on hair shampoo and conditioner. So another essential, make sure your hair is smelling good. If you're not a hairstylist, so you don't have the skill to trim your hair, you can always hold it in a ponytail if it feels it's, you know, it's just growing. But at least keep it nice and neat, smelling nice. You don't want your hair to be smelling, you know, it's not, it's not a good thing. Um, number three, stock up on nail clippers or try and get nail filers. So get a few of these, even if it's just one or two, to clip your nails, yeah? Let's get our nails nice and neat. You want them to be flat, so you don't accumulate any dirt in there. And also try and get a nail file. And if you have these things at home, that's great. Just make sure you use them. Get a nail file, file your nails, See that? 
make sure nails nice and neat and flat you know and it's good for personal hygiene also that's another thing that is good to have for now now point number four please maintain your personal hygiene it may sound very dull to some people like oh obviously but you can easily forget to have your bath and you can easily forget to brush your teeth particularly when you're in a big home or you're someone with a big in a big family so to save time what you can do when you wake up because oftentimes the first thing we do when we get up is we go to the bathroom brush your teeth have your bath then you come out First things first, and then you do whatever else that you want to do in the house, yeah? Let's try to not forget that. Also, so that goes for bathing and for brushing your teeth. Yeah. And also, number five, let's try and keep our undergarments nice and clean, particularly my ladies, and this goes to the men also. Keep your undergarments nice and clean do not just wear nice underwear when you're going to a party the fact that you are home does not mean particularly if you're married or you're with your partner and you're all staying in the same room under the same roof you want to still look presentable make sure your undergarments are still on point and on fleek make sure they're nice and neat if you need to wash them wash them do things as normal just maintain how you look in this time that we are all in quarantine let's not forget ourselves okay uh, another thing is to get neat loungewear so if you're someone that does not necessarily have loungewear you have your denims denim and t-shirt denim and vest just to look presentable another thing is to get cotton buds to clean your ears let's not forget that you want to get rid of all those earwax, you know, get cotton pad, make sure you clean your ears. Some do this daily, others is any other day, but once in a week or whatever. It's up to you how often you want to use them, but try and get that and clean your ears. Let's not forget that as well. Another thing is to eat well, detox, drink loads of fluid. Whilst we are eating well, detoxing, drinking loads of fluid, you want to exercise and uh, with kids there's this uh, YouTube channel I forgot I've forgotten his name I will try and you know type it somewhere and it will pop up on the screen and what he does is Monday to Friday 9 a.m. you have half an hour session on YouTube and that is PE it's called PE with Joe another thing is keep the kids active at home with home learning cooking exercising arts whatever that it may be and also now you can develop your skills or discover new skills so if you're someone that let's say wants to learn how to do hair or you feel you can do it but you've not had the time to sit down and to explore it this is the time to do so and let's also try and grow spiritually Let's meditate on our words day and night. Let's keep praying. Uh, final thing is to challenge yourself. Um, read books. If you can't read books, if it's, let's say, crosswords that you can do, but challenge yourself to do something that you wouldn't normally do now that you have the time to. Let's make this quarantine very productive. That when you come out of it, you'll be amazed at the amount of things that you now know, the amount of skills that you have acquired over time, and the things that uh, you've not had the chance to do, maybe spending time with your kids. If you have anything else that you want to add, you can write that in the comment section below. And let's have an interactive time once we are home. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share, all that good stuff. And let's all stay safe and grow together.